Oh, there we go. Oh, actually, I should, uh, see if I could just, uh, well, two seconds. With gratitude, uh, maybe a little more than two seconds, actually. No real uh, let's just get it. There's no longer any debt to be paid. So it is with Christ. Uh, I should have been sleeping. Uh, it's really bad that I didn't sleep. Uh, it is finished. That's Dave Hunt. A woman rides the beast. So anyway, so I've been toying around with this thing. Uh, and now it's morning, pretty much. And anyway, uh, doing other things as well. And so... I've made a menu that now is sticky sticky and the thing is what you can't actually see with this and it seems to work actually if I do like this as well it looks pretty good <clears throat> so it is mobile ready now of course there's a lot of tuning that one can do and all that but um, of course the menu as well uh, needs to be fixed and all that and the colors overall uh, i need to figure things out um but i've looked into how i can if you know i've been thinking uh in regards to how can i get it like you know so it can work and all that and uh, sadly you need to go into some java script in regards of a lot of the things which I really have tried to stay away from for, you know, many, many, many years, you know, but it seems like there's no way around it. Uh, so, but anyway, so looking into examples and all that copy pasting and trying things out, I think I got it in regards of, you know, uh, it seems to work now, you know. So it goes up and down, and I have the menu right here. Uh, and again, you know, uh, then, of course, tuning things and all that is, of course, going to take some time. But uh, it doesn't really work as of such in regards of other pages. I haven't made any other pages yet. Uh, but, of course, that's, you know... Uh, <laughs> I think I, I, I pretty much got some of the worst things, uh, you know, got over the worst things, you know, in regards of actually getting it to something of the nature of being simple and, you know, easy to uh, and, and mobile friendly as well. And it looks like it's pretty mobile friendly. It even stops the text up here. I'm not sure why would actually do that um i'm not sure if i can get the text maybe a little more up here i don't know but it's interesting that it actually skips this thing uh because of the icon apparently uh, i tried you know putting some numbers you know one 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 to see if it would and it, it won't ins insert them so this must be the picture that it's taking into consideration which is pretty nice um uh, so these are my notes. And what you can't see with this thing is that, of course, you can see the sticky bar. And of course, I can actually have, you know, uh, they have an example where they have two of these, where they have one over here and one over there. I haven't really done that. Uh, there's, of course, a lot of ways of doing the things in regards to the menu and, you know, making the web page do things if you go from, you know, from the computer to a uh, mobile and there's less space and all that, it can do things, uh, you know, but that, that will take time, you know, to, uh, but I'm pretty satisfied with if I could get this to, uh, that would be uh, enough to think to actually, you know, get some of the subjects that would be important and all that inside the, the page now i'm still thinking should i go the direction of wordpress or should i go the direction of just you know fixing toying around with things you know uh and and to see if i can get something up and it also seems to be more smooth uh than wordpress as well um 
Now, again, what you can't see is that this page is actually from another HTML page. So I found a script, a Java script, that actually can do. So I actually have two of them, and I'm not sure what the difference is because one of one is actually longer than the other one. So, and one you put into the HTML file itself as a script. I guess you could probably make it an, an, an JS file or Java file or whatever. I'm not totally, but I would, I would think that would be the, the the way they do it. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't I haven't gone into JavaScript and all that. I haven't really read much about it and all that. But anyway, uh, the other Java thing that's like a file, and when you open it up, you can see you know a huge amount of code. And I'm like, you know, why is there so much more code in that file, which uh, sh should do the exact same thing as the code that I'm inserting into the web page? But the thing is, if you link to the JavaScript file, it becomes a less, uh, you know, messed up in regards of having a huge amount of different things on the page itself. So this script does, so you can actually, which, you know, they should have made for, you know, there's so many things that that they could have done in regards of HTML, you know, making it easy for the user to, but they seem to always have gone around it. So if you really want to be able to do some of the things that I think you should be, have been able to do in HTML, you actually need to go to Java. Which I think is out, you know, pretty outrageous that you need to do that for some other fair But anyway, that's just how it is apparently. And, uh, so I got the JavaScript so it can actually open another HTML file and insert it. And you know, that's, that's I think it should have been you know something that they should have have made from the beginning in regards to HTML and all that. But yeah, you know, it's crazy days as always, always different. Uh, but anyway, this HTML, uh, so, uh, this JavaScript, sorry, uh, can actually do it. So inside, I'm not sure if you can see the source code here, tools. Can I see, no, is there no source code thing in regards of, hmm, page maybe. Print now, uh, view page search. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, there we go. So that we, uh, oh, it's a lot of white, you know. Let's turn that a little down. Oh, my. Um, so there you have the menu things, and you can see it's from the W3 website, uh, W3 school website, and, you know, they have a lot of, in regards to the classes and all that. And I must say, I've forgotten so much of it. Um, so I really would need to go to some refreshing of some of the things because I have tied around with it in the past so it's not like that I haven't tied around with it before but it's just you know it's seven years ago uh, since uh, and sadly I deleted everything I had from seven years ago and uh, which were pretty stupid because some of the things that I actually am looking for I uh, created and you know and I could just have looked at that and you know, regathered my memory would probably have been a, a lot quicker if I had looked at something I had worked with and, you know, the CSS and the HTML and all that. I remember making a page from the bottom up pretty much. Uh, not a big page, but, you know, with the menu and all that and made it work like I wanted it and all that, then the CSS and all that. But I don't really remember more than that. I just, you know, it's, it's, uh, so uh, that would have been nice to actually be able to, uh, it was put out on a website somewhere, but I have no idea. It was like a, on the schools, you know, whatever place. So I have, yeah, I have no way of, of get, you know, finding out where it is. Uh, I made it in regards of mathematically the, the number that, you know, where, uh, the buttons was in that number category where it's like, you know, where you look at something and apparently it's, it looks more perfect or something like that in those. So uh, interesting to do. It, it did take some time, some calculations and all that, but uh, became, it was pretty good, I guess. Um, 
and it was pretty sterile as well. And sadly, I just deleted everything. You know, how stupid uh, can you be, you know? There's a lot of things that I've deleted that I'm like, you know, why did I le delete those things? Um, so here you go in regards to the difference, you know, the... Here, of course, there should be links to different pages and all that, and I would need... Uh, one thing that I have a problem with is if I have a menu and you update the menu, you need to update it in every single HTML page because that's just how it is in regards of HTML because they're crazy data and not making it easy for the user. But so what I was thinking and I'm, you know, if, if I can give, get the menu in another HTML file and every single page just gets that file for the menu, well, then I can just change it one place and it will change it every other place. So I would not need to, uh, you know, if making a little change, I would not need to change every single page, you know. Um, so um, so that's the way I, um, I'm thinking of doing it. Um, and, you know, apparently you needed to go to Java to, to do that. Um, I think there are other ways, but I don't understand why they don't have it as standard in regards of HTML that you can just, you know, get a HTML file from another place. But yeah, well, um, we have like a script. That's the Java thing, wv3.includeHTML. And something about running again, I'm not entirely sure how, but it's in, in the end and then you have the JavaScript up here. Now I have the JavaScript that I have on the server now. Uh, the other one you can have in the document itself, so it's, it's it works as well. Uh, but then you have like a script and a huge amount of code. Um, now the code of course is in that file. What is interesting with this file is that is there's a lot more code here than what is in is in the example for the for just put it in, in the HTML. I have no idea why. I have no idea if it's better or whatever. I have no idea, but it works, you know, as far as it goes. Uh, so, and I guess this must be Java. Uh, code and uh, you know show element element I whatever 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 I have no idea but it works you know so as long as it works uh, I guess I'm fine with that um, then I have a little style that CSS uh, of course I have the style menu menu dot CSS that's from wv3 as well that's a lot of bloating uh, I will need to sort things out here and there so I can cut off all the things that I don't need and all that. Um, so I can get a little more, uh, because it, it's kind of messy in that file. It's uh, filled with a lot of things that, you know, apparently they use to different. Oh, yeah. So, but, but besides that, you know, it's, it's working. Uh, I fixed the sticky thing. You know, I did different examples on the page and tried to, you know, get things working. And it did take some time, but it's working now. And of course, everything is not fixed yet, but uh, at least I got the sticky thing fixed, the menu fixed. I got the thing in regards of being able to just, you know, you can see down here in regards of div. I'm not sure if you can actually, it seems like a, you can also use a P or a paragraph. I'm not entirely sure which things, I've, I need to read a little more on that. But anyway, that's a div, div box and adult v3 include HTML. And there we go with the index HTML file. So now it includes the HTML file and as you can see it works. So. Uh, and you can have multiple includes of HTML files, uh, which is very interesting. Um, also have some JavaScript for the menu. And if I need a left menu, I will need to, you know, copy paste that and just write left menu, left menu and 
fix it up here in regards of a menu in regards of uh, up here and i think it was down here as well in regard anyway um but i don't i, I really don't need another menu uh as far as it, as far as i know maybe maybe it's uh i don't know uh but then again you, you know some you have menus like this you know over here i don't know maybe i could maybe have one for links maybe that might not be a bad idea, just one for different links for all the websites, you know, Christian websites. I don't know. I don't know if that's a, you know, because I could have the links in regards of one of these pages. So uh, people could just push and then have the whole page come up with links. Uh, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but then, of course, we have the button up here and there will then be a button down here in regards of the video player. Or maybe over here. That the, I think the video player is over here and then betray players there. I'm not sure if I'm going to put both in there. But, you know, that's all the things coming together, I guess, in some sense. And there's still a lot of toying around with and fixing here and there. And of course, the problem is that the video player at the moment from the programmer is broke or break broken broken so when you do like this the video player breaks and you know from this to this and all that it breaks and that's a problem of course uh which is uh ms you know the old version of his actually did work in regards to the video player now the music player does work so there's no problem there but the video player uh, has a problem so uh, I think he's working on an update for it. So uh, and I, I can see that he has fixed one of the things, but he's still working on it, uh, he says. Uh, but I was shown the new version. There wasn't really that much of difference besides that he had fixed the scrubber color, uh, which was a problem in both of the old versions that I tried. Actually, both, all three versions, uh, actually, I've tried three versions, and I think it was a problem in all three versions. So, uh, but the next step, of course, would be to get the video player inside this and see how it works out. But again, sadly, the video player have the problem um, with uh, breaking. Uh, and I can't really do much about that that's you know that's his program that's toying around and have you know that's so he he needs to fix that um but yeah uh, i think it looks pretty good uh I, i'm really happy that that i now have a menu that actually now follows along that's pretty cool to actually have that now, in regards to the menu, needs to be uh, you know fixed uh, somewhat. I haven't I haven't really done much with it. Uh, actually, I would like maybe some lines between it, uh, and I can't remember. So I need to go look into some HTML and some CSS and figure things out and all that. But uh, at least it seems to already be functional for more pages, you know. So. And of course, one thing I, I, I need to do is to, of course, see if I could get the menu in another file, which should be possible, but I don't have it now. So again, taking all the things in regards to the menu and put it in, in another HTML file. So every time, you know, so you just have the link in every single page, you know, whatever page you do down here. And thereby, if you want to update the menu, you don't need to, you wouldn't need to update it every single place or have an expensive program that can do it for you. Uh, but no, you can just go into the file and it will, you know, and all the other places will just get that file and there you go. Uh, that will be wonderful. So, uh, so I'm still like a little here and a little there. Do I really need WordPress and all that? Again, it's it seems you know some of the things in regards to WordPress. I can't really find a theme that I like. All these themes for WordPress seems to be bloated. You know, you know a lot of graphic and a lot of you know things and. 
you're sitting there and you're trying, can, can this theme do this or that and all that? And trying to figure out if it can do it or not. Um, instead of just keeping it simple. And, uh, and of course, then you have the problem as well with the mobile. How does it look in mobile mode? And how, you know, and it's so forward. Uh, and it seems some, you know, it, it seems to be more slow as well. And then, of course, you have all the updates coming around and all that. And, of course, I have toyed around a little with it. And uh, it is like building things like visual and all that. It is, uh, it's, it's, it's uh, not bad, but uh, I don't know. I, if, if I, I would need to make my own theme, I think, I think in regards of it. And then I would need to learn that in some sense and i don't know if i can uh, and there's so many other things already you know still to to you know so uh i'm uh, just just uh, too much um but but that would be you know i just want something simple you know pretty much uh black and white or gray or something like that with some orange maybe um i think i will go with the orange and and continue with that in regards of the orange being the thing that attracts your your eyes and for things that can be pushed you know that's that was the idea with the player that i have um see the ultimate player most of it that you can touch is is uh is pretty much uh, orange that's a lot of it actually and everything orange pretty much is touchable. And if you, you know, fix that and all that, um, well, and I, you could see also the video player is not really fine tuned for the mobile either. Uh, I try to tune it as much as I can from the, from the settings. And this is pretty much the best that I can do. Um, the sticky player works a lot better in regards of getting to a full, uh, to a full, nearly full screen. Um, so, but the problem is if I want them to work both on the computer and on the mobile, I get to into problems here and there and there by some settings sometimes doesn't work, you know, one place. You know, it might work one place, but it might not work the other place. And thereby you have to take that into consideration because you want to have it working in both places. So, yeah. Uh, now, of course, on the computer, it, it makes this one very large. And I would, I need to see if I can fix this. So the text is over here. And who knows, maybe I'll make a menu over here. I'm not entirely sure what or oh, something else i don't know uh actually uh yeah actually um yeah actually if i actually was thinking maybe i should have a link over here for something that in regards of importance um i'm thinking of something that i'm not sure if it's going to i don't i don't know if i should go in that direction but then I would at least, uh, then it would have a pretty important link uh, that would be nice to have up here. Um, so people could easily, you know, okay, you know, push this and that. And so, uh, so they could fix, but it would be nice if I could maybe have this arrow thing, you know, over here and maybe this in the center um and of course if it should then correct itself you know accordingly if you do it like this and that this should then move over here and that should then stay in the middle some um something like that i don't know um but of course this is the you know in this mode it really begins to squeeze things in and of course uh you know some mobiles are probably less than this so Oh, I have to take that into consideration. I, uh, I guess one could make something that it makes it even, uh, 
that it takes it in co into consideration if it's I don't know I, I haven't tried to see if what happens if I make it smaller if it breaks totally but uh, but as long as there's no text over here it will just you know move in and sort the page out so of course I could try to just actually uh, fix some more text and see what actually happens if there's too much text in it um, Oh, this is bad. I should have slept. I'm not sure if I'm going to swim today. Uh, was, that was the idea today to go out and swim. I think they are opening 8 or 9 o'clock and then they are open to 12.30 or something like that. And if I go to sleep, I'm probably going to sleep longer. Uh, anyway, let's see here. That's uh, sidebar. Let's put some. Uh, oh, we need to go into the index file and uh, think. No, 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 no. It's, it's it is over in the. Uh, okay, so let's go down here and there we go. And so let's just put some numbers. Number number one one pretty much you know and let's just save it again I still have some problems in regards of how to uh, you know uh, fix the text and uh, write and all that again a lot of things I've forgotten for sure uh, but hopefully it will it would be. Uh, I don't know why I actually stopped toying around with the, uh, yeah, the, it's not like it totally breaks it, you know, but it does break it, you know, it's, it's, it's not, it's not like I would like it, you know, uh, so it, um, it doesn't just skip the, the, the box. I'm not sure why, um, what, what one could do to make it, you know, make it stop and go down uh, uh should probably be something that one can do uh, all right sure uh, well at least for now i can just delete it and update it and there we go and uh the problem is if i put it in a paragraph because it's not in a paragraph at the moment Problem is, if I put it in a paragraph, it seems to get some uh, some. Uh, I guess it might, you know, some uh, instructions, which then tend, you know, messes up the. Ah, oh, I can't remember how you you really do things, you know. Yeah, this, uh, there you go. You as you see that that pretty much ruined it. It just chopped down it seems to be some some floating or something like that i'm not sure uh, maybe i can put it in a box maybe but that's not really no that's probably not going to work either but it should be a paragraph oh well so uh again i have to have a refresh memory in regards of of HTML and now no, 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 it's just fixing a box like that hmm and uh, you know pushing the this box down now it should still go along and it still does so and it actually still it pushes the text this text it pushes away you know man of the number 666 it still have the you know the right text there's still a pretty good gap up here. I'm not sure should probably be a way to fix that. Uh, maybe it's because it's a paragraph in the other as well. I think. Yeah, yeah, sure is. Yeah, it is P center, so it is a paragraph. Uh, font color white and so forward. Font and center. I don't think you're allowed to use center and out, but you know, couldn't remember anything else. So, um, 
again, I, I need to have a refresh, you know, thing. Uh, they have a, they actually have a, oh, let's go back. They do have like where you can just quick train HTML and all that. And uh, so, yeah. But anyway, we'll just fix the box away here. And then I'll sort it out at some point, hopefully. You know, uh, but yeah, it is kind of a mess at the moment because I'm not entirely, sh you know, sure about things here and there. But at least it is working. This this is pretty nice. You know, you have a good square box that's you know telling you here, push me. You know, I can be pushed, and uh, you know, for the pages and all that and. Now being able to load HTML pages into the HTML page, pretty nice as well. Um, so I don't know, but uh, maybe it is better to go with the WordPress. I don't know, but I have to try a little of this, and uh, of course there would be some practice anyway in hot, you know, in, in HTML and CSS. You know. I, sh I don't know why I stopped actually after uh, when I actually had a good amount of training and things. I don't know why I stopped. Um, you know, I should have continued uh, because if you don't use things, you tend to forget things and absolutely I've forgotten a lot. Um, so, but anyway, it's uh, it's looking nice, I think. Uh, and I would just like to see how it looks when you put a video player in it as well. That would be kind of cool to put the video player in it. So you would be able to push down here to get the video player up. And you can push there to get the menu up. I would like to see how that works together. And maybe having, uh, you know, the MP3 player as well. So... And thereby you could push different places outside to get the you know get things, you know, so they're not in the way. But you can bring them out quickly if you want. But also can close them down. And yeah, it was pretty nice. Um, and yeah, looking looking pretty good. Um, but yeah, it, it is a mess. But it's nice to see that it's working in the direction that I want. Of course, there's also the, also the way where you can have a banner up here and then the menu underneath it. And then when you do like this, when you get down to the menu, it will fasten to the top. Uh, that's of course, you know, that's of course another, uh, I think actually it might take some JavaScript as well to do that. Uh, but uh, in theory, it shouldn't really be that difficult, but I already had a lot of difficult just getting this to work. So again, it might again take a lot, of, but it shouldn't really, you know, you, you should, should just have a, a box above this and, you know, write whatever you want and then, you know, fix this bar so that it becomes sticky afterwards, you know, it's, it shouldn't be, but maybe again, you need some JavaScript uh, to do it. Uh, they have examples as well in regards of WV3 school. Um, so yeah, that looks pretty good. And it's pretty, you know, it's, I can toy around with the color, you know, so it's, yeah, it's, uh, I, I, I guess that might, this might be the, I don't know. I have to try this out anyway. Uh, now that I've found out, you know, I can actually pretty much do what I've, you know, thought about for many, 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 many years. But I never really wanted to go into Java things and all that. You know, that seems too, way too complicated for me. Um, but apparently some of the scripts are just, you know, made for you in some sense. And then you just need to fix them in and, uh, you know, apparently seems to work. Oh, well. Anyway, may Yehovah be with you and Yeshua be a most precious pearl and the spirit of truth be in us all. Amen. I should go to bed and at least sleep some, 
some a couple of hours, but yeah, anyway. Have a good 